Queen's Gambit declined, Harwitz, two knights defense. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. D5 occupies the center and controls the E4 and C4 squares. The D4 square controls the E5 and C5 squares and establishes a solid center. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. C4 gains space on the queen side, prepares to develop the knight to C3, and invites black to give up control of the E4 square after Dx C4. E6 defends the D5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. And C3 develops the knight attacks the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. b7 develops the bishop, supports the knight on f6 and prepares castling. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e3 allows the light squared bishop to develop and supports the d4 pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is a fair deal after all captures. This is an equal trade. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. Recaptures. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is the last book move. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is excellent. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This misses a chance to kick a rook. It is incorrect. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to stomp on a bishop. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. 
That's a decent move. That's good. This disregards an improved method of getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a pawn. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. A very strong play. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.